How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be opening a 100 euro mystery box. As you can probably tell by the recording you're seeing right now, this was a pretty big box. So I just set up my phone holder as high as I could, turned on ultra white, and ripped this bad boy open. So, the first item we have here is a one pack Lost Origin blister. I think these are called check lane blisters. The second item is a Pokemon Go Blissey tin. I'm not a huge fan of the Pokemon Go expansion personally, but this is still nice. The third item is a Divergent Power Sizuian Decidui V tin. Well, that's a mouthful. The fourth item is a 3 pack Chilling Rain blister. I'm actually okay with this. Well, that's mainly because of that Rayquaza coin, not because of Chilling Pain. The fifth item is a Pikachu V box. This is actually really cool since you not only get two cool promos, you also get a Jumbo card, which I'm really fond of. The sixth item is a Lost Origin ETB. This might actually be my favorite thing so far. I did plan on buying one of these, but we got it in this mystery box. Sweet. And for the final item, we have some generic top loaders. Now you might have spotted the Shining Fates mini tin. That wasn't actually part of the mystery box. I bought that separately for the shorts video that was released on Saturday. And we're back, we're doing it live. So we actually have a lot of stuff. Uh, I did calculate using card market uh, what, which value we've gotten in this mystery box. It will be popping up on the screen right now. And I think we actually did pretty good. We have a lot of stuff to unbox. Let me just clear the table so I can actually open something. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So let's start with the blisters. The first one we have here is a Lost Origin one. I think check lane blister. Uh, let me just try to rip this open. These are usually pretty hard to rip open. Because, yeah, you see? All right, there we go. Finally, I've got it open. We have our singular Lost Origin pack. For now, we still have the, um, the Elite Trainer box. And I suppose the, um, the promo card's right here. And a nice coin, if I can get that out. And clear this off the table. Here is the, uh, oh, here is the Zera Aura coin. Very nice, pretty big coin. Although it is plastic, but, you know, it is what it is. Here is the code card. Good luck to whoever gets that. And we have our promos right here. We, of course, have the Torterra, which is actually holographic. We have the Grottle. And we have the Turtrick. Actually, these are from Brilliant Stars, I think. Pretty sure they're from Brilliant Stars. Anywho's, anywho's, singular booster pack for this one. Dude, what? What if we pull an alternate art in this one? That would be insane. That would be insane. So here is the code card. Oh, yeah. We have so many booster packs that I'm not going to be doing the card trick. Because I don't want to be here forever. Big. Roselia. Rockruff. Makuhita. And a Paragon Z non holographic. And here is the rest of the cards. So nothing in this one. We still have uh, a few Lost Origin booster packs coming up later from the Delete Trainer box, but now we have the Chilling Rain Blister. This is actually pretty cool. Mainly because of that Rayquaza coin. Mainly because of that Rayquaza coin. Oops. Let me just rip this open. Okay, and here first of all, here first of all we have the Code Card. And then secondly we have the Snorlax promo. Which a really nice, uh, which has a really nice uh, fo holo pattern. I really much prefer this over the one that the uh, that the Torterra has, which is kind of like this. I know I don't like this holo foil. This one looks way better. But of course, the main event. No, it's not the booster packs. Of course, it is the Rayquaza coin. This is a really cool coin. I really like this one. And three Chilling Pain packs. Let's see what we can pull on this one. I haven't actually opened much of Chilling Pain. What I have opened, though, wasn't very good, unfortunately. So let's see if we can change that. Okay, the code card is backwards. That's good to know. For this one, Snover, Sneasel, Orlix, Porygon, a Zangoose, and a non-holographic Gallade. And here is the rest of the cards. So, code card is backwards for uh, Chilling Rain. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So, I suppose we have to do this kind of differently then. I have to like do it like this. Flip it over. Show off the code card. There it is. Kind of throw that to the side. Get rid of the booster pack. And then let's keep going. Golet. Rebrawler. Sveal. Venipede. And I skipped something. Furfo. 
Atrum. And a holographic Taurus. Okay. We've got a hollow lucky Elvendry. One more of chilling rain left. Let's see what we can get in this last one. And then we're probably gonna move it on to the to the tins. Which might actually I don't actually know what comes in these tins. They might actually have a uh, lost origin. Actually, I don't know, we'll see. There is the code card. Let's see, another crab roller. Oh, Sable. Larvista. Golet. Yo! Oh my god! Are you f Oh, we got an alternate art from a three pack blister! You have to be kidding me! It's off centered! It is off center. Let me just show the other cards. Oh, yo! This is cool. This is so cool. Let me get a sleeve. And look at this Galarian Zapdos V. I always, whenever I pull an alternate art, it is off centered. It is off centered. But you know what? I don't even care. We pulled an alt art. We pulled one that I was chasing too for my alt art collection. Maybe it's not chilling pain. Maybe it's maybe it's it's not chilling pain. Hoo wee! Let's just continue. We gotta continue our streak. Started off with our uh, Hizuian Decidui V tin. It's like what's the full name? Divergent Powers Hizuian Dis Hizuian Decidui V tin. Like that's a mouthful of a name. They couldn't have chosen a uh, more more convoluted name for these, eh? But, you know, I'm happy with this. Okay, so let me take the promo out. Here is the promo for the Decidua. I'll get a sleeve in a second. Here is the code card. Good luck to whoever gets that. So we get Astral Radiance, which is really nice. Brilliant Stars and Fusion Strike. Okay. Some really nice packs. So yeah, I I don't think they would have um, lost our version because that one was released later than these tins. A. So it wouldn't really have uh, Lost Origin. These are still pretty nice packs. Uh, Astro Radiance, really nice. Although I already have my uh, one of my chase cards. Started off with one Astro Radiance pack. Let's see what we can get here. Or we can also get a uh, Trainer Gallery card, I suppose. If I can get this pack open. Please cooperate. Thank you very much. Okay. And... Here is the code card. Good luck to whoever gets that. And a Scyther, Togepi, Combi, Chatdot, Psyduck. Holy moly, we're just back to back ports. A Trainer Gallery card, an Ice Rider Calyrex, black and gold Ice Rider Calyrex. And a Leaf in the Synod Holography, but that is an awesome artwork. Look at this. And here are the other cards. We have a Pukesy and a Kamado. Yo, so far I'm really enjoying this uh, this mystery box. Lots of awesome pulls. Look at this. Ice Rider Kelly Rex. Now that is amazing. Anyways, let's move it on. Brilliant Stars. Haven't really had any luck with Brilliant Stars, although I only have opened a uh, one booster box. That's usually what I do open anyways. Add the code card is backwards. Awesome. I usually only open one booster box, maybe two, but then if I want single cards, I'm just gonna buy them. Arceus V-Star. Yo! Back to back pulls, I love it. This, this tin, I've heard, okay, so I didn't want to speak about this in case it was wrong, but I've heard about these, uh, these Divergent Powers, uh, tins. There's like the, the starters from Legends Arceus. There's like the, he's doing the Sigil IV, then there's the, um, what else? The the uh, Typhlosion and the Samurott. And I've heard that the pulls from those are like kind of good. I mean, I can confirm that right now. But, you know, it is what it is. It's all just variants. Well, here the code card is the right way. Also, I think I didn't even show the uh, Brilliant Stars one, so there you go. There you go. See what else we can get here. Yo, imagine if we get another alternate art. Imagine if we get an alternate art. It's not an alternate art, but that's like three pulls in a row. You have to be kidding me. This is such a stacked box. We got a Gradient V Max. There were the other cards. Gradient V Max. 
Look at this. Very nice. Let's see if we can make it like four for four. Four pulls from four booster packs from a single tin. All right. Since I don't know which way the code card is, we're just gonna keep going like this, I suppose. Ogopi, Chat Dot, Magnemite, and a Arita. Okay. It is not a pull, per se. It is an Arita, which in my book is a pull, so we're gonna put this aside. And here is the code card. We're gonna put the Arita aside. We always have to put the waifus aside, right? That's how it works. We just stack these up, kind of like this. There we go. Uh, let's move it on to the Pikachu V box, I suppose. So let me rip this bad boy open. Get the packs out. Okay, here we go. We've got the booster picks: Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strikes. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, here is the code card for the Pikachu V box. We also have our promos: the Pikachu V, which looks very cute. And a Mimikyu. I really like this Mimikyu promo, although mine, as as per usual, is uh, off-centered. That is very off-centered. Where's that promo from? Is that from Chilling Rain as well? No. That's a different icon. I don't recognize that set icon down here. Don't know which set that's from, but I'm sure I will look it up afterwards. This is very nice. And here is the Jumbo cards. I really love these Jumbo cards. I have like a folder full of them. They, they are really, really nice. Go into my... Uh, Pikachu binder. Both of them, I suppose. And four packs. Let's see what we can do here. Brilliant stars. Brilliant stars. Well, we do have the chance of a double pull. Trainer gallery. Of course, the code is backwards, right? I'm just not going to bother with the code anymore, pulling it out beforehand. I'm just going to do it afterwards. So, let's see. Voltoy and a Mothem. I, I wonder why they do that though, like why do they put the codes in like sometimes backwards, sometimes like the right way up? I don't get it. That's very strange to me. And sometimes these booster picks just don't want to open. Sometimes these booster picks don't want to open, but hey, that's fine. We get in anyways. He can't keep me out. Mawile, Makuhita, Panpour, the Waddle, Skarmory, a Persian. And an Araquanet? Araquanet? That's a weird name. Anywho's, here is the code card. Nothing in this one. But we still got plenty to go. We've still got plenty to go. Another brilliant stars pack. And we have a Golet. We have an upside down Corefish. We have a Sock. Lefairy, Rubber Blast. Yo! -ho -ho -ho! We're just continuing back to back pulls. It's insane! Mimikyu and a Haxorus. Okay. Friends and Goddess is a really cool card. I, I wish this one came in a full art in English, but so far it hasn't. And I don't think it will. Honestly, at this point, I don't think it will make it to English. This will probably stay a Japanese exclusive, at least in the full art. And look at this Mimikyu, which actually isn't too off center, like not too badly. It is a little bit, but not too badly. Yo, I actually have this in Japanese. I might do a comparison, uh, like at the end of the video, where I want to show off uh, some things, but we'll see if it works with those cards. I think it might only work with the normal trainer, trainer gallery cards. A Fusion Strike. Mankey. Rogunk, Panseer, Me, a Rakuda, Dragapult, and a Tyranitar V, another pull, yo! And here is the other cards, and of course the code card. There you go. Tyranitar, this can go under the Mimikyu, I suppose. We still have the Pokemon Go tin, which I, I'm not really fond of the Pokemon Go set uh, itself. This is kind of hard to rip open, let me get my knife. I'm not really fond of the uh, Pokemon Go set in itself. It's not my favorite. It does have the cool, uh, like, Mewtwo floating on, like, a, uh, what's that? that looks like Times Square, maybe? I don't know where it is. So that looks really cool. But other than that, not really a huge fan. Although I do have to say, the promo... Oh, we get two promos. We also get the Pikachu. Wait. 
Do you normally get all get the Pikachu also, or is this like a uh, an error box? I actually don't know. I haven't opened any of these tins. So there you go, the Pikachu and the Blissey. The Pikachu is actually really nice. I really like this promo. Once again, I already have this in Japanese, but I, I do love myself some Pikachu promos. Let's see. Oh, you also get a... You also get some stickers. Look at this. You get a Snorlax, a Blissey, and a Pikachu sticker. That's very nice. What else do you get in here? What's this? Oh, this is just like an ad for Pokemon Go. There are some codes on here. I don't know what these are for. I don't play Pokemon Go, so there you go. Good luck to whoever gets those. And here is another code card. It's just stacked with codes. I guess that's nice. And we get four Pokemon Go boosters. And that's the that's the box. I'll just put this to the side here. I'll actually hold on to the stickers. I do love me some stickers. Dude, imagine if we get another alternate art. If we get two alternate arts in this one opening, I'm legit gonna flip. Like, that would be insane. I don't know what the code... Okay, the code card is the right way, thankfully. Here's another cute Pikachu. A Squirtle. A Spinner Rack. A Wimpod. Lavatar. A Bulbasaur. And a Melmetal Full Art. Yo! We're doing it, we're doing it. Oh yeah, I've forgotten. You have the chance to get a, um, a Ditto. In Pokemon, in the Pokemon Go set. I've completely forgotten about that. This, that's a card I would like to pull. That is a card I would like to pull. The, um, the Ditto. I think it can be a Spinner Rack. Uh, what else? I've forgotten what else it can be. But definitely a, a, um, a Spinner Rack. I think, maybe, was it a Nummel as well? But we'll see. Maybe we can pull it. That would actually be kind of cool if we pulled a, uh, Ditto. I would be more hyped about the Ditto, although the Mel Metal was pretty nice. There's a Spinarak, Mel Metal, Mewtwo V. Now this is a cool Mewtwo card. I do have to admit, this is a really cool Mewtwo card. So far, this opening has been a huge, huge success. So many pulls, and we got an alternate art from like a three-pack blister. That's insane. That's like so lucky. Can you even be that lucky? I don't know. Maybe my luck is turning around, you know. After not being able to pull that many alt arts, finally the luck is turning around. What? Yeah, let's let's go. Oh yeah, the Bidoof is another one that you can get a, uh, a Ditto off. By Beryl. Melton. Yo, brother! We've got a Radiant Charizard! But wait, wait, wait. There might be another pull. Okay, no. It is a Moltres. It is a holographic. But, holy moly, these boxes were stacked. There you go, Radiant Charizard. That's amazing. Since we have so many pulls, what I might actually do is, at the end of the video, I might actually calculate uh, how much stuff we've gotten, like, the the um, the values of all of these. Because that's gotta be insane, right? Maybe we've even made our money back. That would be kind of cool. Namal. Lolan Radicate, Tranquil, Blissey, okay, we didn't get the Ditto, unfortunately. Hey, we've got a Venusaur. Nice. So, no Ditto, unfortunately, but we did pull a... Not only did we pull a Charizard, we also pulled a May Metal, Mel Metal Full Art, and a Mewtwo V. So, so many amazing pulls so far. We have... Uh, what do we have left? We have this bad boy left. The Elite Trainer Box from Lost Origin. Let me just clean up here, and we'll rip it open. Okay, let's rip this bad boy open. Lost Origin. This is actually one I'm really hyped of. Although, maybe I should have been hyped about, uh, Chilling Rain. Maybe I should have been hyped about Chilling Rain, because this is amazing. So far. I actually haven't opened one of the, um, the Elite Trainer boxes of Lost Origin yet. As I've said, you get the, of course, the booklet with all the new stuff, the Lost Zone. Although, uh, what, from what I've heard, the Lost Zone was in the game, um, earlier. And it's now making a comeback, so that isn't really a new mechanic, question mark? But here's all the pulls. And you pro you probably know this by now. Of course, there is the, um, if I can find it, the infamous... The infamous Aerodactyl, this one. The one that Pokeref was chasing for like 11 boxes and hasn't opened it yet. After like 11 boxes. 
which is kind of sad, but you know, I think he put like something great, like five Giratina V alt arts, but not a single Aerodactyl. So here is our packs. Of course, he's always come with um, dice, your markers, your V-Star markers, you get these dividers. These are actually pretty cool. I really like using them for like my, uh, my bulk. You've got the energies. You've got a code card, there you go. There's the code card for you and the sleeves. Now, sleeves are always a nice addition, but unfortunately these ones are like the... I don't know, I want to call them cheap sleeves. Because don't feel um, as premium as like something from like Ultra Pro or KMC. Or maybe even um, Dragon Shield. But they're still nice that they're included. So, our last few packs, let me just double check, yup. Those, those are our last packs. Let's see what we can get here. There is still the, um, there's the black and gold Mew in Lost Origin in the, um, Trainer Gallery set, like the subset. That's the one I want to pull. Even though I already have the, um, the Japanese one. Although I would take an Aerodactyl and I could say, um, wait, Pokeref, this is not so hard. What are you doing? Or Beetle? Got a hollow in this one, but not a, um, I don't know, I want to call it a real pull. It is still a pull nonetheless. That is considered a pull, a holographic. But I think everybody just wants like a V or V star or, well, everyone wants the alternate, are they? Really gallery cut. I do love um, Lost Origin and like Brilliant Stars because of that trainer gallery. Because even if you don't pull something in the in the main set, you still have a chance to get something at the reverse spot. Like maybe right here. Okay, no. Misfortune says I really want this in a normal full art. I did pull the um, the rainbow in my um, booster box opening. But I would really love to pull it in a normal full art. Because the rainbow one, uh, it's kind of whatever. It's cool, but I would prefer the normal one. Would prefer the normal one. Here's the code card. Good luck. Good luck. Izui and Growlithe, Ducklet, Rockruff, Seal, got a Zorua, got a Cresselia floating in space, and we've got a Raichu. And there you go, the other cards. So far, not a huge, uh, not a huge uh, amount of luck for the Lost Origin. We've definitely gotten a bit more lucky on the other things, but you know, maybe our luck will turn around. We still have a few booster packs left. Maybe a nice Mew to seal the deal, to make my day. As you know, Mew is my favorite Pokemon. So that would actually make my day. Poliwag, Oddish, Growlithe, Shallows. We have something shiny here. It's a V-Star. He's and Gudra V-Star. I think I pulled this one as well in my um, Lost Origin opening. Hey, Arezu. Arezu is another full art that I really want, even though I do already have it in Japanese, but hey, you can't never have too many waifus. There you go. At least one nice pull. We've still got four booster packs left. Still got four booster packs left. Let's see, here is the code card. And away we go. A fairy, like a tongue, horsey, shove it. A Shallows, a Seal, and a Holographic Snorlax. Snorlax is back. Three more boost space. Ah, we haven't pulled a single uh, Trainer Gallery card from, from Lost Origin so far. At least in this opening. I'd really love to get like at least one. At least one Trainer Gallery card, that would be amazing. But then again, also, just give me the Aerodactyl alternate art. I would take you that anyway, any day of the week. Jinx. Makuhita. We've got a Radiant Sneasler. We've also pulled this in our booster box opening. And a Greetant. We've pulled the exact same uh, Radiant. And I think the exact same V-Star. I'm pretty sure we've pulled the Gudra as well. But hey, a pull is a pull. A pull is a pull. Rip this open, second to last pack. Maybe we can get some lost pack magic here. And away we go, Electrike, Ghastly, Binacle, Murkrow, Rumpel, another Binacle, and a Giratina V, oh this is cool. 
We've got a pull after all. A nice one. The Giratina V. The Izuian Gudra uh, V Star is really nice as well, but the Giratina. It's like the cover Pokemon. So you gotta get that one, right? Okay, some last pack magic is in order. Some last pack magic is in order. Let's do the card trick for the last one. Three to the front, useless energy. And Bronzong, Colrez Experiment, Porygon 2, Porygon 1, Ducklet, Flipbug, Finian, Urua, and a Parasic. There we go, finally. We finally got a trainer gallery card and a non-holographic Rhyperior. Okay. We've gotten one trainer gallery card, so this is fun. Well, this opening has been fun. Let me just sleeve these two up. And then I guess we'll sort uh, through the cards. And I'll be right back. So here we go. So this is what we pulled. This one, really nice. Highlight of my day. We have the Galarian Zapdos V alternate art. We have the Arceus V Star, a Gradient V Max, Mewtwo V, the Black and Gold Ice Rider Calyrex V Max, which is really nice as well. Radiant Charizard, which is exceedingly good. We have a Melmetal Full Art, Mimikyu V, also really, really nice. A Tyranitar V, Hizuian Gudra V Star, a nice trainer gallery card with the Parasect. We have the Radiant Hizuian Sneasler, Giratina V, and then here's just our promos from these boxes. So, let me just put this on top. This has been a really successful mystery box, and I'm really glad I bought this one. Really, really happy with the results. I will put up a count on the screen right now. This is how much value we've gotten out of unboxing this. I don't know if it will be higher or lower. Actually, I'll take a gander. I think it will be lower, but only slightly. Only slightly lower. But other than that, this has been really, really fun. I hope you did enjoy it as much as I did. And if you did, then a like would be appreciated. Uh, go subscribe to the channel if you really enjoyed my content. And stay tuned for more in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.